We all know that there's the history you learn in school, and then there are other theories that explain a lot of things that the books can't. It's no secret that there have been too many discoveries that experts and researchers simply can't figure out. Helicopters, submarines, etc. Up on the upper wall, up there. We have chosen the most mysterious, interesting, and bizarre archaeological findings just for you. From an eerily accurate map that could not have been created in ancient times to the world's first ever seismometer, here are 20 ancient artifacts claimed to be from the future. Number 20 Viral revealed truth of the 800-year-old mobile phone that sparked claims that time travel is real. Do you think time travel is real? Would you believe it if you had proof in front of you? Well, after this video, you may want to rethink your position on time travel. Some video clips went viral after they emerged on the internet in September 2015. They claimed the discovery of a very strange and bizarre object that was unearthed during a dig in Austria, and the object in question was a clay copy of a mobile phone displaying an ancient Sumerian writing style known as cuneiform on the keys. Now, phones are a relatively recent invention. They certainly did not exist in Mesopotamia in 3500 BC. So how can this be possible? The clay copy had the exact same shape as the famous Nokia 3310. How did they know about it in ancient times? Could this be evidence of a collapsed advanced civilization, or is it proof of time travel? Researchers say that cuneiform tablets are quite normal and not unusual. Actually, an estimated 2 million have been excavated already. Regrettably, the information about this peculiar object is very limited, and it isn't one that's easy to explain either. What do you think? Is time travel real? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. At first glance, this looks like something out of a Star Wars movie, right? Something that Luke Skywalker could have used in his attempts to fight the dark side. But what if I told you that this bizarre machine is actually a real-life spaceship and not a movie prop? But that's not all. This aircraft is said to be over 100 million years old. How could that be? It was discovered in a rural town in India by some school kids. They kept it a secret and even tried to hide it under this bridge. The only person they told was actually their science teacher, who told them how old the spaceship actually was. But some of the parents realized that the kids were disappearing every day, so they inquired. Upon finding out what they were hiding, they told the authorities, who told someone else, because the very next day, some American agents were all over the town asking questions to everybody. That same day, the spaceship was was gone and the science teacher had been transferred somewhere else. Some say that NASA came and took it away, while some others say it was the government. But one thing is for sure, this thing was old. And whoever used it must have been tiny, like a very small alien race. Whatever happened to this aircraft, one thing is for sure, we keep finding very strange things from our past that have no explanation. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. The Mystery of the Flying Machines at Seti I Temple, Abydos, Egypt. Okay, before getting into details and specifics, I'm going to ask the audience one very simple question. What do you see in this image? Don't some of the hieroglyphs look a little strange, unlike any other kind of hieroglyph you've ever seen? Well, if you feel unease and can't truly believe or understand what you're seeing, join the club of many people that have visited the Temple of Seti, and even archaeologists who have spent years researching the site. The hieroglyphs you are looking at clearly depict modern-day inventions such as helicopters, airplanes, and submarines. Helicopters, submarines, etc. Up on the upper wall, up there. I know the first question to pop into your mind must be, how? Is this pareidolia, which is the human ability to perceive shapes or make pictures out of randomness? Did the people who carved these hieroglyphs just get lucky? Or is this evidence that the ancient Egyptians were a tad bit more advanced than what we previously thought? As much as we would all love to see these modern-day machines made by the ancient Egyptians, sadly, none have ever been found. And even though these hieroglyphs look too similar to our modern-day machines, most archaeologists say they are merely the result of palimpsest, which is when there are overlapping hieroglyphs in the same stone. The similarities are too close for comfort, though, wouldn't you say? Number 18 
bicycle carved 2,000 years ago. Advanced ancient technology proved. So most historians agree that the bicycle was invented in the 1800s, a little over two centuries ago. But then how come a perfect depiction of a bicycle was found in the walls of an ancient temple in India? The temple in question is called the Panchavarna Swami, and it's a Hindu temple dedicated to the goddess Shiva. The temple is located in Warayur, a neighborhood in the town of Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. Shiva is believed to portray five different colors, and she is also one of the most important gods in the Hindu pantheon. She's actually considered to be a member of the Holy Trinity, also known as the Trimurti of Hinduism, alongside Brahma and Vishnu. She is the protector of the Vedas, which are the sacred texts, and the patron of yogis and Brahmins. The Panchavarna Swami Temple is 2,000 years old, and nobody can explain why a depiction of a man riding a bicycle can be found in a dark corner in one of the walls. Could this possibly be proof of advanced ancient technology in the subcontinent of India? Did the ancient Indians actually have bicycles? What do you think? Is this a hoax, or is it real? Number 17. Segway, 2,500 years old? Keeping with the subject of means of transportation with two wheels, next in line is the famous ancient Segway. Yeah, you heard that right. A little bronze brooch that depicts what can only be interpreted as a humanoid figure riding a Segway has been discovered. This peculiar and bizarre discovery was made in the Celtic hill fort at Horne Orasani, which is a village and municipality of the Trnava district in the region of the same name in Slovakia. Horne Orasani is only 48 kilometers from Bratislava. This village used to be famous for its wine cultivation, but in more recent times, it's become quite the hotspot for time travel believers as well. This little brooch would have gone unnoticed until the invention of the Segway in 2001, and since then, a lot of people firmly argue that it could be undeniable proof of advanced ancient technology. Considering that the bronze brooch dates from the late 5th century to early 4th century BC, it is quite mind-blowing. Number 16. Year-old iPhone found buried at Russian Atlantis. This may just be one of the most interesting findings of the year 2019. A team of archaeologists were attempting to drain a huge man-made reservoir in Siberia during the region's short summer that year, and in the midst of their project, they actually found a mysterious tomb where an unknown woman was buried. The site is known as the Russian Atlantis, and not much is known about it, but with a lot of research and hard work, the team established that the buried woman could very well be a famous ancient fashionista nicknamed Natasha. She is believed to have lived during the Xiongnu period in ancient Mongolia sometime during the 3rd century BC. But the findings were not over yet. Inside of Natasha's tomb, the archaeologists discovered something that was simply not supposed to be there at all. It was a bizarre object that looked exactly like an iPhone. When they unearthed the 2,137-year-old item, they couldn't deny it looked uncannily like a smartphone. But this object was made out of a type of black gemstone, and it was also encrusted with a magnificent and very valuable array of precious stones and jewels that most definitely would put your phone case to shame. Number 15. Ancient Greek Laptop with USB Ports on Gravestone, 100 BCE. There's a conspiracy theorist on YouTube that posted this video on his channel about an ancient Greek grave marker depicting a laptop with USB ports and everything. The grave dates from roughly 2,000 years before personal computers were even invented, so what exactly is going on here? Well, a lot of people on the internet firmly believe that this is undeniable proof of time travel. Stretching 94 centimeters high and over 120 centimeters across, the carved funerary relief features a seemingly very wealthy woman reclining in her armchair and reaching out to an object that's being handed to her by a younger servant girl. Now, historians know that this scene, with the wealthy reaching out for an item, is quite common in ancient Greek graves. It alludes to the hope of continuing earthly pleasures in the afterlife. But if that's a laptop she's reaching out for, how did it get there? And if it isn't, what could the Greeks have invented that looked so similar to modern-day laptops? All this speculation aside, the question begs to be asked. Even if time travel is real and somebody did bring a laptop to their trip to ancient Greece, there wasn't internet back then, so what would be the point? To impress the ancient people of Greece? It all sounds quite dangerous to me. People are usually very scared of things they can't understand. Number 14. Strange Indian Carvings Reveal Advanced Ancient Technology 
Welcome to the Sun Temple of Modera. This beautiful site was built around 1,000 years ago, and in it you'll find a very curious statue. The statue is of a woman holding something rather unique. It doesn't look like a weapon or an ornament of any kind. It looks more like a long rectangular strip. Can you guess what it would be? Doesn't it look like a regular ruler? And when we zoomed into the image, we found that there are markings on the side of the rectangle, just like the ones you'll find on any ruler. Now, this may not look like evidence of ancient iPhones or helicopters, but it is nonetheless a spectacular find. I mean, haven't you ever wondered how the ancient civilizations could build such magnificent and exact structures with such accurate measurements? Well, the answer is in this statue. They had measuring instruments just like the ones we have today. And what's even more mysterious is that the statue seems to have a total of four hands, something quite common in Indian art, but the other three hands have been completely destroyed over time. Imagine, what could this figure have held in the other three hands? What could we have learned about ancient civilizations if we knew? Also, researchers claim that the other three hands were not destroyed by natural events. They were destroyed by human beings. What were they trying to hide from us, and why? Number 13. Ancient Handbags we all know that a good designer handbag is a crucial fashion accessory nowadays. But it may surprise you to learn that actually handbags have been around for centuries. In fact, there are several ancient sculptures from several different cultures all around the globe that show deities clutching the same sort of items you may see today on the red carpet at the Med Gala. There are some sculptures made by the Assyrians, the ancient civilization that lived in modern-day Iraq, depicting strange bits of luggage. And the Sumerian civilization featured a god race called the Anu with handbags as well. But if we cross the pond and land in the Americas, there are also art pieces depicting the god Quetzalcoatl from ancient Mexico also wearing a dazzling handbag. Even in modern-day Turkey, at the ancient religious site Gobekli Tepe, there were etchings found that appear to feature very similar bags, and they all look eerily similar. Historians tell us that agriculture started near Mount Ararat, which is the same place where the Ark of Noah is said to have come to arrest after the global flood. So Mount Ararat would have been the starting point of the post-cataclysmic civilization that would spread out in every direction to repopulate the Earth. Could these bags carried by deities represent seeds that were preserved aboard Noah's Ark to be redistributed all over the planet after the Great Flood? Number 12. Mysterious Astronaut Statue in 400-Year-Old Church So, apparently, the most famous astronaut is no longer Neil Armstrong, but actually one without a name. Now, let me explain. There's a cathedral in Spain that is called Catedral Nueva, which means the new cathedral. But ironically, it isn't new at all. They started building it back in 1513. So, as you can see, this cathedral may be beautiful and grandiose, but it is not new. And it also has a peculiar history to it. The construction was actually interrupted by various events, such as the Lisbon earthquake of 1755. Yeah, they really took their time building cathedrals back in the day. At first glance, this is just a cathedral like any other. Very impressive, very old, and sturdy. But if you look up and pay attention, you'll notice something extremely strange, to say the least. There's an astronaut carved into the stone floating above the heads of those who are curious enough to see it. I mean, the helmet, the spacesuit, the oxygen tank, that is an astronaut no matter how you look at it. But this time, there's actually a perfectly reasonable explanation for it. The reason why this little spaceman is in a centuries-old cathedral is because the carvings around the door needed to be fixed and replaced, and the stonemasons decided to include it as a symbol of one of the most crucial events in recent history. Number 11. The Piri Reis Map if you're a maps fanatic, surely you've heard of the Piri Reis map, mainly because it's one of the most striking-looking, interesting, important, and mysterious maps to have survived from the Age of Discovery. And yet, even if it is considered as one of the most predominant maps in history, ironically, it is one of the least understood. Some believe that the Piri Reis map includes a chart made by Christopher Columbus, which would mean that this is the first map ever made by European people of the Americas. And it would also mean that this is the most accurate map made during the 16th century. But as it turns out, they didn't have the technology necessary for such advanced spherical trigonometry calculations at the time. So a lot of people believe that this map is evidence that our planet was visited by a very sophisticated extraterrestrial civilization that taught humankind how to create such maps. Further proof to sustain this theory is that at the time the map was made, Europeans still did not know about the existence of the Americas, and we all know that Columbus stumbled upon the continent without prior knowledge of it. Something doesn't add up, don't you think? Number 10. 
Antikythera Mechanism The Antikythera Mechanism is a 2,000-year-old artifact that was found in a Greek shipwreck. Scientists have determined that it was an ancient tool that used a wind-up dual system to track the celestial time of the Sun, the Moon, and the five planets in our solar system. It also had a calendar, the phases of the Moon, and an extremely accurate timing of eclipses. It's not for nothing that they call it the first-ever computer. The Antikythera mechanism was so sophisticated that no other tool like it would be invented in the entire planet for another thousand years. Researchers have been scratching their heads since its discovery. It seems almost impossible that the ancient Greeks would have had access to such an advanced technology. There was never found any other artifact like it, and there are no records of more than one ever existing. The evident anachronism of the mysterious mechanism has sparked a lot of conspiracy theories that claim that its technology had to have come from an alien species. While most researchers don't accept that theory, they still have absolutely no idea of how it could have existed at that time. Number 9. Baghdad Battery Three artifacts were found together in present-day Kujut Rabu, Iraq, close to the metropolis Tishafan, which used to be the capital city of both the Parthian and the Sasanian empires. The three objects were found together. It was a ceramic pot, a tube made out of copper, and a rod made out of iron. Now, these three objects separate may not seem like much, but if you're good at electrochemistry, you must know that those three things together can make a perfectly good galvanic cell, which could have been used for electroplating or maybe even some kind of electrotherapy. According to Wilhelm Koenig, the director of the National Museum of Iraq, these theories could be perfectly true. Even though there is no electroplated object recorded from this period of time, this is still a very unique discovery. Another explanation for the three items is that they may have been used used for the transport or storage vessel for sacred scrolls. Number 8. Could these coins prove that aliens lived among the ancient Egyptians? This set of ancient Egyptian coins could very well be the ultimate proof that an alien race visited our planet thousands of years ago. At least, that's what conspiracy theorists are claiming. The coins in question were found by a group of people working on the renovation of a house in southern Egypt. One of the coins clearly depicts what looks like a spaceship hovering above the ground. Isn't that amazing? The second coin features the head of an extraterrestrial being, with massive hollow eyes, no hair on his head, and very thin cheeks. UFO hunters all over the world are claiming that this could mean not only that aliens have visited our planet in the past, but could also mean that they could very well still be walking among us. The third coin has a carved description on its back that reads Opportunus Adest, which translates from Latin to It's Here in Due Time. Number 7. The London Hammer This story takes us back a long, long time ago. One lovely day in London, Texas in 1936, a man named Max Han and his wife decided to go for a stroll when they came upon a very strange discovery. The London Hammer is basically a very old man-made hammer that a rock kind of formed around. So you may already ask yourself, the hammer has to be older than the rock because it's literally trapped inside of it, right? But what if I told you that the rock in question is actually over 400 million years old? How could that be? Every scientist, every science book, everywhere you hear that mankind is roughly 200,000 years old. So how can a man-made hammer have existed 400 million years ago? It's a head scratcher, that's for sure. But there's more. As you can see in the pictures, the London hammer has not an inch of rust on it. Now that is also impossible, and the wood of the handle is in perfect and pristine condition. You would think that after such a long time laying around on the ground, the wood would have started turning to coal, right? Number 6. The Dendera Light Bulb Beneath the Temple of Hathor in Cana, Egypt, there is a very strange description featuring what can only be interpreted as an ancient design of a light bulb. Some researchers think that it could be a depiction of a crook's tube, which is a very early design of the modern-day light bulb. Now, of course, the Dendera light bulb is not an exact depiction of glass, filament, or an electric cable. It's a bulb that encapsulates a snake forming a wavy line from a lotus flower, which could be considered the socket of the bulb. But there's also a wire that leads to a small box that the air god is kneeling at. And beside the flower bulb stands a two-armed jed pillar, which is connected to the snake. You may also notice the baboon bearing two knives, but he doesn't seem to have any connection with the Dendera light bulb. So the snake could represent the filament, the jed pillar could be the insulator, and the tube could in fact be an ancient electric light bulb. 
And maybe the baboon holding threatening knives could have been some kind of warning that the device was dangerous if not used properly. This may very well be evidence of a time traveler that brought with them an electric bulb and left it there, and the ancient Egyptians were very confused about it, naturally. Number 5. The Iron Pillar of Delhi at first glance, the Iron Pillar of Delhi doesn't look like much. It just stands there slowly rusting away in the middle of a desolated square in Delhi. I mean, what could be so impressive about a metal column, right? The pillar itself isn't impressive at all. What is mind-blowing is how old it actually is. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is, in fact, some 1600 years old, which is much older than anyone would expect for a metal column. I mean, any other iron artifact made such a long time ago and left exposed to the weather and the rain would have turned to dust hundreds of years ago already. But this pillar still stands proudly. There's also the fact that this pillar seems unreasonably futuristic for its age. It's an out-of-place item that has been and still is a complete enigma for scientists and researchers all over the world. So much so that many people think this pillar may have come from another place and time altogether. The iron pillar is 98% pure iron. So the question begs to be asked, how did they manage to cast it. Historians say that it may have been an ancient and lost technique of metallurgy, but some others believe it was probably made of some kind of futuristic or non-earthly metal abounded. Number 4. Clerksdorp Spheres these beautiful rounded objects were found in pyrophyllite deposits near Otostal in South Africa. They may not seem like a major item, but what if I told you the Clarksdorp spheres are actually 3 billion years old? Yeah, well, now they seem much more interesting all of a sudden, right? But these are not actually man-made. I mean, that would be completely impossible considering we didn't exist 3 billion years ago. Not by a long shot. The Clarksdorp spheres were naturally formed by carbonate concretions. They range from 5 to 10 centimeters in diameter, and they were created by minerals formed in the space between sediments. Just like the way crystals can naturally take very geometrically precise shapes. Interesting, huh? It was actually the weathering that left the Clerksdorp spheres as tiny little pyrophyllite balls with even lines circumscribing them. But surely, there are lots of people out there that are not convinced with the scientific explanation of how these spheres came to be. They firmly believe that these were brought to Earth by an extraterrestrial race when they were visiting. Whatever theory you adhere to, one thing is undeniable. These little balls are very ancient and beautiful. Number 3. World's first earthquake detector was invented 2,000 years ago in China. An earthquake detector is called a seismometer or a seismoscope, and it basically measures the motions of the ground by monitoring seismic waves that gush from an earthquake, a volcanic eruption, or a very powerful explosion. Nowadays, there are thousands of seismometers and seismoscopes dispersed in key places all around the globe to keep a constant watch. They are gathering data 24-7 to help scientists better understand how earthquakes work so we can act accordingly and minimize their damage to our species. But even with such cutting-edge instruments, and with so many seismologists working super hard all year long, we still can't predict earthquakes. However, seismology isn't such a new science as you might think. In fact, the first seismometer ever invented was in 132 AD by a Chinese astronomer, mathematician, engineer, and inventor called Zhang Heng. His invention consisted of a bronze wine jar six feet in diameter decorated with eight dragons positioned face down along the outside of the barrel. These dragons were there to mark the primary compass direction, and in each of their mouths was a small bronze ball. Beneath each dragon, there was also eight bronze toads with their little mouths wide open so they could receive the bronze balls. Whenever the instrument would sense an incoming seismic wave, one of the little balls would drop, alerting people of the earthquake. And apparently, this device was incredibly accurate. Number 2. Phaistos Desk This is the kind of mysterious puzzle that can drive any person completely mad trying to solve it. Okay, that might be an exaggeration, but it did take 30 years for linguist, archaeologist, and coordinator of the program Erasmus of Crete Technological Institute, Gareth Owens, to finally solve it. The Phaistos Desk is made out of fired clay, and it was found at the Minoan Palace of Phaistos on the island of Crete in Greece. The Minoan goddess of love, Astarte, is the key figure that unlocks this mystery, according to Owens. The 
language carved on the face of the disk has never really been decoded. As you can see, it's not your normal letters or even hieroglyphs. These symbols are very bizarre, to say the least. They don't belong to any known alphabet, ancient or modern. According to his findings, this famous disk could be a religious text to a pregnant goddess. He suspects that it could be a hymn before Astarte. Number 1. The Dashka Stone this is a very controversial ancient artifact. It's believed that it introduced the guidelines used by architects all over the world. The Dashka Stone is also known as the Map of the Creator, and since its discovery in 1999, it has baffled researchers. This seemingly unimportant stone tablet is actually one of the most mysterious archaeological findings in history. Some Russian experts think that this stone map could be 120 million years old. The Dashka Stone not only depicts the environs of the Euro mountains in eastern Russia, but also several engineering projects, including exactly 7,457 miles of channels, a series of dams, and even hieroglyphic notations of unknown origin. But the thing is, the outstanding accuracy and perspective of this map could only have been achieved if it was created from an aerial point of view of the area. How could they make such a precise topographical map of the region if humankind wouldn't learn how to make flying machines for centuries to come? Upon closer examination, experts were even more stunned when they discovered that the scale of the map is exactly 1 to 1.1 kilometers. It's just mind-blowing. Maybe time travel truly exists, or maybe all the items in this video were merely evidence of the exquisite craft and knowledge of ancient civilizations that somehow got lost along the way. What do you think? Do you believe that time travel exists, or that all of these are just the result of ancient geniuses? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.